Hi, welcome to a Fusion 360 video tutorial. I want to do that cross beam exercise in Fusion. Again, I had to do it in a, some sort of kind of classic way because there is no shape fillet and even the first 200 millimeter radius fillet was not possible. But let's have fun with Fusion 360. So in order to use the step file, I've imported it into AutoCAD and saved it in AutoCAD format, which allowed me to import the curves into Fusion. The first thing you have to do is switch from direct modeling to just go here, right click, capture design history. Otherwise it will be in the direct modeling mode. Okay. I will need some extrudes. Let's see if we can do already an extrude. Go to patch, go for create an extrude with that curve right here. That works. So let it be symmetric and go for whole length 420. Okay. Let's show our curves. I need a plane which goes through that line. Let's see if we can. And that would be one of the already existing ones. Where is my axis system? So just make it visible. There you go. I can use that plane for a sketch. So go for a sketch on that plane and just project P that line right here confirm stop sketch and let's make another extrude with this one yeah of course hide that one and go to extrude and make it minus 700 Let's reverse the normal of that one and confirm. Now I need a plane with an offset. So go for a plane offset to this one and select just that point. Confirm. And it's up there and I want to trim with that plane. So go for a trim, trim with that plane and remove that small stripe here. Okay. Now let's trim once more. I want to trim with that tool and I want to remove this side. Okay, repeat the trim. Use the, this one as tool and remove that face right here. This face. And confirm. And maybe switch to we shall style shaded with visible edges only. Now let's make a stitch and stitch this one and that one. And confirm. Now I want to go for a sketch on that plane. That would be the Y set plane here. And I need a profile. And that could look something like this. Close it right here and I need that as projection so go for P I need this edge and that edge and okay as construction lines now let's go for another line but not for construction line and this one should be 
perpendicular to that one. So go for perpendicular, this one and that one. So that needs to be deleted and this might look something like adjust it a little bit maybe like that use this as trim tool so trim remove No, not this trim tool, but the usual trim tool, the sketch trim tool. Okay. Maybe like that. And let's move from that line a little bit over here. Maybe like this. Yeah. Stop that sketch. Now let's trim our surface with that sketch. So go for trim and remove the faces on the inside and confirm. Let's do some edge fillets. Go for 200 millimeter on this edge and that edge, and it should be 200. Now make a patch. And like this, let's see if we can make them all together. No, not possible. So switch this to tangent, tangent, tangent. Tangent, 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 tangent. So here and confirm. Let's stitch that. Modify stitch those two and confirm. Let's show our uh, yeah I will need a plane right here. Maybe I could use this one. So go for plane with an angle. Use that line if possible not possible so let's go for three points there you go one point second point and third point let's hide that body go for a sketch on that plane right here and project that curve and confirm stop that sketch make the curves invisible now let's make an extrude And maybe bring back our body so it's easy to see. Go for create extrude with that sketch. Okay, make it two sided.
maybe like that, 150 and maybe 75 to the other direction. Now let's trim. I want to use this as tool or that as tool. But the complete surface would be that extrude. No, that's crazy. Trim with body six. So why isn't that a body altogether? This should be one body right here. So let's stitch it. This surface and that surface and confirm. Now go for a trim. And trim with this tool. And remove that side. And confirm. Then another trim, that's the tool, and remove this side. And confirm. Now stitch. Those two. And make an edge fillet. Along that edge and make it 50 millimeters. And that would be my base surface. I need an offset of that one. So go for create offset from this surface. And in the other direction, so go for minus six. And that would be the base offset. six millimeter and hide that offset at one. Let's call this one minus six or negative six minus six offset. And I need one with a positive offset. So let's go for another offset. Again from the base surface, but in this case, six millimeter. So that would be a base offset by positive six. Okay. And maybe spell it correct. There should be an E. Okay. Hide this one as well. So that's the base surface. And I might need a copy of that one as well. So I want to go for the square emboss. Let's take a look. Bring back our curves. And I want to create a patch if possible with, yeah, that's possible with that curve. Confirm, hide the base surface and reverse the normal here. I need a sketch and a plane because there is no rule surface. 
So go for a plane normal to a curve, plane along path. Confirm and let's make a sketch right there. Let's move it a little bit. So I need that point in my sketch. So go for P. Confirm. And I need a line which starts at that point in that direction, maybe 30. And I need an another line for my angle and this should be just a construction line now go for dimension and this would be 30 degrees and this one should be aligned like that stop that sketch and let's make a sweep with that line. So go for create, sweep, select the line and select the path and confirm. Now stitch it confirm and make a edge fillet maybe by three millimeters so that's just one body great next I want to go for the runway emboss so I will try and see if I can extrude that one extrude this one yeah it's possible and go for a symmetric one and make it all together maybe 160 okay now I need the base offset by positive 6 so show it and I want to trim with that tool and I want to remove the outside this like that then repeat the trim and I want to trim with this tool and I want to remove the upper part of that one okay now maybe let's stitch those Confirm. and then make another trim but now with the base surface this one so go for trim I want to trim with this tool and I want to remove this side okay repeat the trim I want to use that tool I want to remove this surface here is it selected yeah now the next trim now this would be the tool and I want to remove that surface here and also over there again repeat trim that's the tool and I want to remove this face and confirm now let's stitch those together go for modify stitch this one that one and this one okay and I need fillets here here and there so go for 
fill it on this edge, make it maybe two millimeter. Doesn't work. So it should be stitched. It's stitched, yes. Let's go over here, fill it and try it up there. Maybe three or two. Let's go for three. Yes. Repeat. Now that edge. Go for two millimeter. Nice. Let's hide those. And they should be able to do fillet here as well. So go for another fillet. Select this edge. Let's try one millimeter works. If we go for two millimeter, okay. So we got a new base surface that would be this one. No, this one over here, that's my base surface right now. Next would be that stripe emboss. Therefore, let's show our curves. I need a plane. So let's go for a plane at an angle and try to use that, and that's working. And let's go for 90 degrees and make a sketch on that plane and just project that curve here into that sketch stop that sketch. Now I could make an extrude so go for another extrude with that one and of course you have to hide those so you can easily select that line go for extrude over here and make it like that. That's okay. Now I need that edge. I could go for trim and then project that into my sketch. That would be an idea. So Let's go for a trim. Trim with this tool, that surface, or the other side. Maybe this side, and OK. Now I need another plane. So bring back those. Now I need a plane which is just in that direction. So go for another plane with an angle. Select not the edge, but let's hide that body. Should be this body. No, that body. And select that line. And that's the correct plane. Bring it back. Hide the other one. Make a sketch right there. And project just that edge and this edge. OK. Stop that sketch. 
make an extrude with that sketch. Hide this one. Make it symmetric, make it 12 or 10, make it 10. It is not symmetric, so go. It's symmetric, but it should be the complete, should be 10. Hide that body. Now, I want to move this 6 millimeter in negative x direction, so I go for modify, move copy. Select it. Yeah, I want to move that body. And it should go six millimeter minus six in X direction. But switch to translate and make it minus six. So if I bring back that body there should be a distance yes it is great so i will finish here this concludes the first part of the cross beam exercise in fusion hope you enjoyed it up to this point if you did please give it a like or leave a comment if you want to see more please give it a like or leave a comment Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please subscribe to my Facebook cat fan page. Thanks for watching. See you to the second part. Bye bye.